Halloween tutorial and this is what it looks like it's just ba a basic like slit throat whatever you want to call it um, I actually got this one at um, a Halloween store um, spirit and that's what it looks like and this was $9.99 I talked a little bit about it during the video um, and you could also like use like liquid latex to get a slit throat if you don't want to buy this or whatever it's a little uncomfortable because it's like right there but um, it's super easy you just have to like you know add color and add blood I went a little like over the top of blood but it's okay um so I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned bye guys okay so um today I'm going to show you guys how to get a super easy um cutthroat or a slit throat whatever you want to call it and um this is mine mine's like a little dirty dirty because I um have been like playing around with it or whatever and I got this at the spirit store and it came in like this package and there's like a picture right here and it was $9.99 um, I've seen it other places that you could get, get it like super cheap or whatever the difference with this one is though that this has staples in it right there so that's probably why it's like $10 but anywho so let's get on to the tutorial okay so this actually came with um, like elastic stuff that you could like actually tie around your neck but I just took it off because it was getting in the way and it kind of like choked me so this is what it looks like and then you're going to want to put um, spirit gum all around um, the back of it so that's what I'm going to do right now and my spirit gum is from um, Ben I because I took a theatrical makeup class um, a couple semesters ago um, and that was like in the kit or whatever so um, but you could also get spirit gum like at Target or any Halloween store that I've seen so definitely go get it and it also comes with um, Renewber and that's what I do to take it off and it's so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do and I just applied it all around it and you're gonna like move your hair back and you could put it like exactly like right in the middle or you could like diagonal it, whatever. But I'm just going to put it right in the middle and I'm going to hold it there so the spirit gum actually, you know, it's onto my skin. So I'm going to hold this on for like a minute and then I'll be right back. Okay, so after you let it just sit there for like a minute or so, so it's like kind of glued to your um, neck. Um, you're gonna go use some liquid latex, mine is from Ben I. And um, just put it like on the bottom or wherever you really want this kind of effect. And I've done this in a couple of my um, Halloween tutorials. I'm just gonna grab some tissue and kind of lay it exactly right on top of where I just applied that liquid latex like so and you don't have to do this step it's fair it's optional but I like it because it gives it a I don't know a cool effect in my opinion so I'm just gonna put that there you don't have you can put it other places or whatever it doesn't really matter and then I'm gonna go with some more liquid latex and put this exactly right on top of what of the tissue And I'm just using a cosmetic brush and you want to um, wash it after you use it. So, because then it won't ruin your brushes. Ah! Okay. So after you do that, you're going to want to... Um, let it set or dry for like a couple of minutes and I'll be back. The next step I kind of already started. Um, you basically want to go in with like any foundation and just cover um, everything you can get in the middle if you want. Um, I'm going to try not to. And I'm just using the Rimmel Linens Clean Finish Foundation. Just like this. And my shade is in Soft Beige. Um, so I'm just going to go with a uh, Dual Fiber Stippling Brush. And just do this like 
this. I'm gonna make you make sure it blends in with your um, skin. And um, like the latex is gonna kind of irritate your skin a little bit. And you obviously want to make sure that you're not allergic to it. Um, Cause I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am getting like a little red. But I'm gonna put a little bit more foundation. And I'm just applying this like on my hand. <laughs> And you want to like make sure it is kind of blended. Okay. I'm just going to blend it in a little bit to my neck. So it doesn't look like weird. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think I did a pretty good job. Now you're going to want to... Let me scrape that foundation off. Okay, so now you're going to want to go in with um, just like uh, red and black. Let me find a brush though first. Found it. And I'm using um, some cream stuff. You could use like eyeshadow or whatever, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm just using the Ben Eye Color Real Bruise and Abrasion Wheel. I've used this in a couple of my tutorials. It just looks like this. Um, so I'm just going to go on some red first. And you're just going to want to pick it up. I find that um, cream based stuff work better um, than like eyeshadow. I don't know. That's just my, my experience or stuff. So I'm just going to kind of just tab it onto everything. And you don't have to make it look neat at all, um, because obviously this doesn't look neat. <laughs> um, but yeah. And you want to make sure you get every little nook and cranny. You need to get your skin to like the what I'm doing. Okay, so after you do the red, I guess I'll so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, this is so awkward though. And then um, I'm gonna grab a little bit of brown. Ooh, that's a little too much. Okay. And I'm just gonna just do like the same exact thing. And they sell um, cream based like liquid makeup at the at Target or like the Halloween store and stuff and I believe it's super cheap it's like a dollar because I do have some of that stuff and I used it last year but I just don't know where it is so okay so now it looks you know real I need to add a little bit of color I'm going to go in with another Ben Eye color wheel, and this one is just the Cream Kit Fair Medium Tan one. And I'm going to use just a black color, which is right here. And this will give it like the more kind of dead effect, I guess you could say. Um, and as you guys could tell, like I'm just like seriously, I'm just patting like it. I'm not even doing it, making it neat or anything. Um, cause I don't know. I don't think it's about neatness. It's Halloween, so I just like to pad. Oh, and make sure your hair is like out of the way. And you could get into like the crevices, like in the um the slit or whatever, and stuff like that.
Okay, so after it looks like that, I think we kind of just blend it. If you don't like it. But okay. And next is the fun part. Look at my hands. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in with some blood. And I'm just going to use like this little like stippling brush to apply it. You could also use um like q-tips or whatever you want to use um, I'm going to use the q-tips later on to get like the slit or whatever but um, I'm just using Ben Eye Dark Blood I also have like a bigger bottle of some gel blood that you could get at like Halloween stores and stuff um, but I'm going to use this one out or finish this first so I'm just going to like tap it around And I like, oh, I'm so sorry. I like totally like blocking you guys. <laughs> I like using this sponge because it gives it the more, it gives it a kind of splatter look effect, I guess you could say. Okay. So after we do that, um, I'm going to go in with a Q-tip. I should have these handy in the bathroom. <laughs> And just dip it into the blood and I'm gonna go right into the cut because that's where like the blood the fresh blood should be And you can cover up any white spots that you see or anything. You don't have to leave it. And I like going like all out with blood, so. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's all gory. Buddy, I'm just gonna do a little bit more of this. Okay, so that's basically the finished product of the slit throat. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hold on. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, this is probably gonna be like my last Halloween tutorial since this one is, I'm recording it on Sunday. And tomorrow's Halloween. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's super easy. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Bye!